Hi guys! In today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this eye look right here and I used the Tartlet in Bloom palette to create this look. It was a request from one of my subscribers and friend, Farah, so thank you for requesting this look. I used mainly um, these shades down here in the palette to create the look. So these four down here and um, Firecracker and Flower Child. So if you'd like to see how I created this um, smoky, bronzy look, then please continue to watch. All right, so let's get started. Pull out your Tarte Linen Bloom palette and let's go. So I'm gonna begin by taking the shade Flower Child and I'm gonna be using that on my Sigma E40 and I'm using that just to set my entire lid area. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Sweetheart on another Sigma E40 and I'm gonna be using this one as my transition shade so I'm gonna apply it slightly above my crease and in my crease as well. Okay, now I'm going to take this shade Rebel and I'm going to be using that one on a MAC 224 blending brush. It's just a little bit smaller than the E40 from Sigma. And I'm going to be using this to define my crease. So I'm going to put it in the crease and just a little bit above the crease, but lower than that first shade Sweetheart. I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. Now I'm taking a Colleen blending brush. This is an E35 also from Sigma and I'm just using that to uh, kind of clean up the edges. It was looking a little bit um, rough. So I wanted to just, you know, smooth out those edges. So that's what I'm doing there. Now I'm going back in with the shade Sweetheart and this time I'm taking it on a Sigma E40 and I'm just touching up um, that first shade, uh, which was a transition shade, which kind of got blended away when we started doing our crease shade. Now I'm taking the shade Firecracker and I'm taking that on a 242 brush from MAC and I'm going to be placing this on my lid and I'm really packing on this color because I want it to be very um, very intense on the lid so yeah I'm just packing that on. Now I'm taking the shade Leader from the Tarte Lid and Bloom palette and I'm going to be putting that shade on a Sigma E25 and I'm concentrating the shade on the outer edge of my eye and taking very little whatever's left on my brush into my crease. And I'm just using that to define the outer edge of my eye. Now I'm going back in with the shade Firecracker on that same MAC 242 brush and I'm just using that to touch up the lid shade. Now I'm gonna take the shade Flower Child on a F70 brush and I'm putting that um, right on my brow bone as my brow bone highlight. It's a matte shade. You could also use Charmer if you wanted to, but for me, Charmer is a little bit too bright, so I decided to go in with Flower Child. Now I'm going in with the shade Sweetheart, and I'm taking that same Sigma E25, and I'm blending that underneath my lower lash line. I also applied my concealer and powder off camera, and uh, now I'm focusing on my lower lash line. 
Now I'm going in with the shade Rebel on that same E25 and I'm blending that shade over a Sweetheart. But I'm trying to concentrate this one kind of like the um, middle of the eye to the outer edge and then whatever is left on my brush I'm blending it inward. And just make sure you connect the edge of your eyeshadow so from your lower lash line to your upper um, lid area just so it looks cohesive and clean and very well blended. Now I'm going in with the shade Leader again on a Sigma E21, I believe. It's a little smudger brush, it's really tiny, and I'm focusing that very close to my lower lashes. And I'm taking that from about the middle of my eye to my outer edge, so I'm not bringing this color inwards at all, and I'm just focusing it uh, very close to the lashes and towards the outer edge. Now I'm gonna be highlighting my inner corner so I'm taking the shade Funny Girl from the palette on a little pencil brush from MAC and I'm putting that in my inner corner. You can make this as intense or not as intense as you like. I like a very bright inner corner so that's why I use that brush. Now I'm taking Costa Chic from MAC and I'm using that to line my lower waterline. And I am now curling my lashes with the Tarte lash curler that I don't like. And for mascara on my lower lashes, I'm taking the MAC Giga Black Mascara. And for my upper lashes, I'm gonna be using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, which still unsure about this one. I like it, but I definitely don't like it as much as my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara because I find this one really clumps up on my lashes. And this is the completed look everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any requests, please do leave it in the comment section down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you like this video, please give it a like and I'll see you in my next one.